Hi, Pisces. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot. For a tarot, an oracle card reading for all Pisces, we are going to get started right away here with an oracle, a couple of oracle cards, and we'll have a general reading today. Oh boy, you've got the card of the werewolf. I'm liking it. Exploring wildness. So this may be a time of adventure for taking some calculated risks. You may even surprise yourself for having opportunities, even to do things maybe that scare you. I saw somebody in what looked like a haunted house. I don't particularly, it almost looked like a warehouse. That would be really scary to me. But I feel like some of you, you're going to end up doing things that you'll say, that is not something I normally would have said yes to. All right. Explore your wildness. And if it gets wilder than that, you can feel free to drop a comment. You have perspective shift. A phase of deep questioning, seeing through the lies and delusions. Stop seeing life as you once did. So you may have something here that helps you kind of break free of perhaps the status quo. You have the path of the heart. Now, this always reminds me of the Empress because she represents the path to the heart. A path dedicated to romantic love. Main life lessons will be heart-based on earth to obtain emotional wisdom. So again, that heart-centered approach, really following your inner, inner guidance system, doing things with that brain-heart coherence, making decisions and being in alignment. Because so often we go through life as two of us. The brain takes the day shift and the heart takes the night. But when we get those together, things change for the good. So let's see what else we find out. The Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, he's fun. The Knight of Swords, we're getting down to the chase. The Queen of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, there she is. You got the Path to the Heart twice. The Chariot and the Eight of Wands, that is solid. I think you're really going to enjoy this cycle. I mean, I love this. When you start to see this, all the yellow in the cards, very strong, Law of Attraction energy, but this is where life gets exciting. This is why we come here. If you sprinkle on a little Eight of Wands to it too, you brace yourself because life is about to pick up, but it's going to get exciting. This is where we want to live, okay? This is where things move forward, and they do it in a way where you almost feel like you're in a dream. It really is a time where things are about to get quite wonderful. So in terms of love, you do have love here, but you also too with the two queens, you're going to have clarity. You're going to have clarity of thought, but this is also a card indicating that you're going to have material success. You feel satisfied. For some of you too, you may look around at everything that you've collected over the years or the state that you're in today. If you're buying your first home, I get that for somebody looking around and saying, I, we did it. I did it. We're here. Okay. I feel like somebody is here right on the, the edge of breaking into that sort of that next financial goal. With this Queen of Pentacles, though, she's so she's very proud of her achievements, but also humble. So I do feel like as you make gains, it's almost like it's that internal deal where it's you against you. But it feels great. It feels amazing. You know, when you're a queen, you're up high, okay? I mean, that's, that is a, this is status. Now, I'll also mention, though, besides just money, it is about manifesting, and it is about the physical body. So you'll find, even though you're a water sign, when the Queen of Pentacles shows up, you'll be feeling good. If you're on some kind of a health journey or a weight loss journey, this is where you say, you know, I'm going to get some new fall clothes. I feel like I've gotten to where I'd like to be. I'd like to, I see somebody getting a haul off of Amazon. Make some videos out of that. Do some reels. Do something with it. You might be able to monetize it. Um, but I do feel like, too, if it's been a long time coming, you know, I just mentioned monetize. I feel like somebody is going to get monetized for something. If you've been sort of chipping away and saying this seems a little harder than they thought it was going to be, keep going. A lot of people, they don't find success because they give up too quickly. It does take a little bit. But once you get into it, and if it is something like that or even a business taking off, I feel like somebody here, as long as the, um, you know, the investment is fairly low and safe, Right where you're not investing tons of money to, to make a business successful, I feel like you're going to come out on top. 
Now, this Page of Wands, talk about an exhilarating energy in your social calendar, too. Get ready. Because with this, I mentioned that haunted house situation or warehouse. This is the person that takes you there. You think you're going to a movie, right? And you're, you think you're going to an apple orchard. And the next thing you know, you're being chased by people in costumes. And this person's laughing hysterically. The Page of Wands, though, is the kind of person that you cannot get angry with. Like you will say to this person, I would not have done that without you. I would never have signed myself up to sing karaoke. I don't really ever want to do it again, but I'm glad we did it. Okay, so with this energy, I feel like too, in terms of work, this is a great coworker to have or somebody in terms of if you are doing building some kind of business, somebody who will keep you going. They give you kind of that uplifting energy. They give you just enough so that you say, you know what, this seems to be working. This is the kind of person too, though, if you are on some kind of weight loss journey, They'll notice and give you compliments. It's and Again, I mean, we have to do it for ourselves. But this is such a pleasant person to be around. If it's a neighbor, it'll be that neighbor that you love to run into and just chat it up with. I also get, too, somebody running into an old teacher. Okay, so if you see a teacher out and about, I saw Walmart. I don't go to Walmart very often, like once a year maybe. So if, it, if it's you and you run into an old teacher, I feel like you'll be so glad you did. Now, with this Knight of Swords, you may find that people around you are in a hurry to get things done. You might have to read that, okay? So with that, if you find that you don't like this energy, read it and be able to be ready for it. You don't want to get caught in a position with somebody who's in a Knight of Swords kind of way and end up getting trampled by them. So if you work with a coworker or somebody that's quite brusque, okay, that charges ahead and they're rather curt and a bit abrasive, know that they're, I feel like somebody's going to be on a rampage. Or you might say it's my mom or it's my, you know, whatever, my sister. I keep getting almost like a female energy, even with the coworker. I got kind of this female energy. Um, so if you know somebody's like that and they're moody, and I don't say moody just because I said female, okay? I don't, I'm not trying to put down women by any means. But I do get whoever this is, they, it's like when you know they're like this, you kind of get out of the way. So be aware of that because I feel like whoever it is is going to be on a rampage. And if you see them, you know, you can sidestep it, right? You can say, I'm in the car. I'm not going to get out just yet. I'm going to see, wait and see if they, uh, see if they go in the building first. I don't really want to be in the same elevator with them today, that sort of thing. Um, so with this Queen of Swords energy too, this is a card of clarity. So you'll find too, if there are people that you know of that you have to be kind of cautious around them, you'll see them coming a mile away with this. You just have to trust it so that you don't, when you negate it and you do it anyway, you go, why didn't I listen to me? I know I'm my best friend, other than the tarot, who's also your best friend that tells you the truth. Um, but with this Queen of Swords, I do feel like your instincts are going to be on point. She's learned a lesson. So again, with this one, if you have, you know, people in your awareness and we just can't always control every single person who comes around us because we work and do other things. I do feel like with this, she's kind of figured out or will help you figure out how to navigate those individuals. So you just don't get caught and tangled up with them. Why ruin a good day, right? Now with this Queen of Swords, this is great for signing any kind of contracts, especially with the Queen of Pentacles. This is money. And it's also two contracts that won't need to be revised. They're perfect because the Queen of Pentacles, that watchful eye, you won't have mistakes that have to go back through and paperwork, you know, errors and they're holding you up and all that kind of stuff. So know when the wheel comes in. This is also answers to questions. This is a time when inaction comes to rest. So is this, by the way. Like the whole rest of the reading is about like if anything's been slowed up, it's about to speed up big time. If you've been waiting, the wait is over. Now with this wheel of uh, fortune here, they, are, they remind you here to just have some faith. Know that this comes in cycles. And when it does, it's an evolution in your favor. It's high vibrational energy. So the people you meet too are kind of amped and ready to go. It's a card that will bring in matches. It pushes you forward towards happiness. And that's where you'll go unless you unless you resist it. And so especially with the path of the heart being here so many different times, if you're not in a relationship, get ready to meet somebody. And there's real love on the line. There's no doubt about that. Because with the Empress, I mentioned before, she's also a symbol 
that you have great ideas, great creativity here, but it's also to, to an indication she comes after the high priestess that things are about to pick up again. Life gets busy again, but it feels rich and full and robust. You have people that come in that you have great exchanges with. Again, you might notice the ones that are a bit ornery, but you're going to dance around those. You come into a place of finding the people, finding your people that love, support you, and build you up. And so with the chariot energy, you've got protection, you have connection, you have stability, consistency, but you also have driven to success. So when this comes up, make sure you're setting your eye on the prize. Make goals for yourself because with this, you'll get them. So be aware of that. If you put some goal out there and if you like to do little tests to see, will it come true? Get ready because it'll work. I guarantee it with this energy. Now, if you get into alignment with the energy, right? It's like this is, uh, there's no real guarantee because we all have uh, personal will. But I do feel like with this, you're going to find somebody here who likes to do little tests with the cards. I feel like you're going to say, well, that was easy. Now, with this Eight of Wands, you have great communication. This is a yes card. So if you are wondering, these are the arrows of love. I feel like if you're single, Get yourself out there, but you have somebody, I feel like you already kind of know that they have an interest and I feel like they're going to come forward. They're going to let that cat out of the bag. So good things are on the way for you. Pisces, I love you and I'll be back again soon.